Hi friends, uh, let us see correlation and regression concepts in this video. Right. So they have asked uh, one or two questions in uh, ERB exams. So it is very important concept. Let us see that. What is correlation? First we must know. Correlation, it is telling that it is a relationship between the two variables. Right. So it uh, defines how two variables are associated. How one variable is changing with respect to another variable. Those things are given by correlation next term we have to understand this correlation coefficient so correlation is uh, defining association between two variables whereas correlation coefficient uh, measures the degree of association right so the degree of association is given by uh, what you call uh, correlation coefficient then another one concept that we must know is regression lines so regression line is nothing but it's a it's a line so it is a graphical method which describes the average of association between the two variables so correlation and uh, regression both are bothering about uh, association between two variables measurement of degree of association is uh, correlation coefficient average of association between two variables is regression right okay now we must know some important formulae from that uh, they will ask but the question will be direct everything they will give so it is easy concept that's why we have to learn this and uh, we have to score full mark in this the first thing is uh, we have to define correlation coefficient between two variables right so correlation coefficient between two variable r x y is given by uh, the, it is r is uh, used to represent correlation so correlation between x and y that is given by uh, summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by a into a into right root of x minus x bar whole square y minus y bar whole square so where x is x bar is the average of x values right similarly y bar is average of y values right so everything we studied in 10 standard itself so it is very easy similarly i can write uh, rxy if they give small dx dy so that is same thing only summation dx is nothing but x minus x bar difference dx dy divided by dx square dy square right and uh, correlation in terms of covariance is given by uh, what do you call R, uh, rxy is co correlation between x and y in terms of covariance rxy is equal to covariance x comma y divided by sigma s sigma x and sigma y sigma x is nothing but standard deviation of x this is standard deviation of y right that's what sigma y okay now we have to know the regression formula regression formula is given by when you are given the all the data the regression formula is given by regression of uh, y on x is given by you see when uh, we have we may have some doubt what is the regression of y on x regression of x on y so you see that y on x y over x like that y left hand side x right hand side right similarly regression of x on y x over y right so x over y right if you bring y this side it will come down right so in that way you remember so y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to uh, covariance of x comma y divided by sigma x squared right y on x so x must be in denominator it's a shortcut to remember so y minus y bar covariance x comma y divided by sigma x squared that is equal to r sigma y divided by sigma x y over x that's what y on x x minus x bar so any formula you can use where r is a correlation sigma is a standard deviation x bar is a mean of x Similarly, regression of x on y, the same formula, only difference is change y into x, x into y. So, only one formula you remember, another formula you can write from the above formula. So, y instead of uh, y on x, x on y means x minus x bar, covariance of x comma y divided by sigma y squared, that is equal to r sigma x divided by sigma y, y minus y bar. So, covariance x comma y is given by sigma x i y i divided by n minus x bar y bar right so this is what covariance formula right so and another thing we must know is this they asked in exam also 
when correlation coefficient r varies from minus 1 to plus 1 we must remember when r is equal to plus or minus 1 two regression lines coincide when r is equal to 0 that means correlation is equal to 0 correlation 0 means both the variables are uncorrelated or not correlated that's what r0 when r0 two regression lines are perpendicular to each other this question they have asked in trb 2016 exam so this time we may expect r is equal to plus or minus 1 means two lines coincide right so those things are very very important and another one we have to remember is regression coefficient the formula is simple only regression coefficient of our uh, y of y on x this is x on y right formula is simple x i y i summation of x i y minus summation of x i summation of y i divided by y on x so denominator should be x so summation x i squared minus x i bar square x i squared by n x on y so it is correlation regression coefficient b y x regression coefficient b x y b y x is equal to r into sigma y divided by sigma x b x y is equal to r into sigma x divided by sigma y this is x on y so x must be in numerator y must be in denominator x over y like that you remember formula is same only right so when data is not given regression of y on x is given by regression of y on x is equal to b y x b y x we know r into sigma y sigma x that's what we know already we know right b y x r c y minus y bar instead of this is what uh, b y x regression y over x this is x and uh, this full area is x over y b x y r into sigma x sigma y. so formula is simple only right so it is not tedious don't uh, think it is too big uh, mostly they won't ask this type of question they will give this data and may ask what is the regression coefficient right b y x equal to r into y sigma y divided by sigma x b x y is equal to so r into sigma x divided by sigma y so y minus y bar is equal to b y x x minus x bar x minus x bar is equal to b x y y minus y bar this formula you must remember right now we solve the problem so what they have given if covariance of x comma y is equal to 12 variance x is equal to 9 variance y is equal to 4 what is the correlation coefficient we know the relationship between correlation coefficient and covariance is given by r x y is equal to covariance of x comma y divided by uh, root of variance of x into variance of y y already we remember r x y is given by covariance x y sigma x sigma y sigma is nothing but standard deviation of x standard deviation is nothing but square root of variance of x so i can write like this so covariance of x is equal to 12 divided by variance of x is 9 variance of y is 4 12 by 6 that is equal to 2 right so r x y is equal to 2 so it's simply problem that's why r x y is coming as 2 but please remember r x y must be less than or equal uh, minus 1 to plus 1 right we should not go beyond that right so just for problem uh, problem sake they have given like this but r x y value should lie between minus 1 to plus 1 right Okay. Next uh, question: If n is equal to 10, summation x uh, x y i is equal to 100, summation x i 30, summation x i y i, right? X i y i. Summation y is 20. Find covariance of x y. Uh, I have told covariance of x y is given by summation x i y i divided by n minus x bar y bar right okay so what is x bar x bar is the mean of uh, x mean of x is given by summation x i divided by total so summation x i is sum by total is uh, what you call mean so this is 30 this is 10 30 by 10 3 similarly y bar is equal to summation y i divided by n y i is 20 20 by 10 2 x i y i they have given so now everything is given so covariance of x comma y is equal to 100 
n is 10 minus 3 into 2. 6 minus 10 minus 6, 4. So covariance is right. This is the way we have to solve this problem. Right. The next question is the equation of two regression lines are given below. Right. This is a very critical question, but very good question. Right. Find R X Y. Right. So what is the thing we have to remember? We know uh, B X Y. B X Y is equal to R into sigma X divided by sigma. B Y X is equal to R into sigma Y divided by sigma X, right? Okay. Now, if you multiply both B X Y and B Y X, what you get is R squared. That is what R squared, right? This indicates I want R from. I will tell you R is equal to uh, R squared is equal to this one. R is equal to B X Y. Yes. Now, from the regression lines, I want correlation means what is the procedure is. First, I have to find BXY and BYX. From that only I can find R. Right? So, first equation we take 4X plus 3Y plus 2 is equal to 0. Right? So, here you see this indicates 4x plus 3y is equal to minus 2. From this, whether we have to find bxy or byx, that is the question. Fine. So, what is the thing? Guys? Whenever you have the equation like this, you, you just you find y. y means 3y is equal to minus 2 minus 4x y is equal to minus 2 by 3 minus 4 by 3 x. This is only equation. Fine. Uh, if I find y from this. Otherwise, if I find x, what will happen? 4 x is equal to minus 2 minus 3 y. x is equal to minus 2 by 4 minus 3 by 4 y. So, you see, this is y over x y left hand side, x right hand side, so y y over x, so b y x, this is x over y, so it is b x y, whether this, this equation gives b x y or b y x, for that we have to see, this is what for coefficient, fine, so if you want to see that, you see it is 4 by 3 is greater than 1, so b y coefficient must be less than or equal to 1, so this is, this cannot be b y x, this must be b x y only. So b x y is equal to minus 3 by 4 because 3 by 4 is uh, less than 1. So this equation won't give b y x, this will give b x y only. So from equation number 1, we get b x y, b x y is equal to minus 3 by 4. Right? Simple. So then Surely then equation number 2 should give b y x. What is equation number 2? Equation number 2 is 3x plus 4y is equal to minus 3. So 3x plus 4y minus 3 is equal to 0. Since it has given b x or y, it will give b y, b y x only. So 4y is equal to 3 plus 3x. Uh, y is equal to so 3 minus 3x. 3 minus 3x, y is equal to 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4x. This implies b y x is 3 minus 3 by 4. This is what uh, b y x. Right, so now we got b x y and b y x. So what is r squared? r squared is equal to b x y into b y x. So minus 3 by 4 into minus 3. That is equal to 9 by 16. Right? So, what is R? R is equal to minus 3 by 4. That is equal to minus 0.75. Don't say, don't ask why R squared is equal to 9 by 16 means R must be plus 3 by 4 only. You may have that doubt. But the condition is, you see, 
we know p y x that is correlation uh, the regression coefficient is negative minus 3 by 4 because minus 3 by 4 similarly b x y is also negative right since both the uh, regression coefficients are negative this indicates r must be negative only. so put minus in front right so b x y and b y x negative means r x y r must be negative so answer is minus minus so that's all about this session if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section i will clarify thank you